Well, hello everyone, I'm back. The new proud American conservative. Yes, I got more important info, not too many of you can stomach. What if President Trump was selected, not elected? What if Hillary would have won 2016 election? Would patriots, conservatives, Christians, etc., be okay? Hiding inside the homes, wearing masks when they enter the stores, basically cannot buy groceries unless you wear a mask or you have to order online and all this uh, inconvenience and craziness that's been going on. Do you believe this would have uh, been okay if Hillary was in office right now? I definitely, I am 100% sure this would not fly. I could be wrong. You guys let me know in the chat box down below what you think about this. But for President Trump to be ushered in to issue the last stages of the new world order when it comes to universal basic income right now, cashless society, all this that has been uh, pushed um, this year 24 seven in our face with stimulus checks, uh, Wall Street uh, continuing to widen the gap between the main street, basically corporate America getting uh, richer and richer and richer as Fed Reserve is buying assets. Uh, you just uh, cannot ignore these facts. So this is just a thought that I started to think about this about a year and a half ago when I saw what uh, Trump was actually doing instead of what he was saying. And I could not believe it. I kept saying, no, this cannot be it. And then every single month, actually every single day, you can see more and more of these um, facts, okay? The, the warning signs and then facts followed up. Like for instance, no masks. And then I quote, masks are patriotic. I mean, just really scary. Uh, that's why I keep saying, it does not matter who is in the White House. I believe President Trump can do a better job than Biden because Biden doesn't know where he's at and Kamala Harris is gonna be all about full-blown socialism in your face. It's gonna even be more extreme. So it is, it is a tough um, battle for the middle class that looks like it's already lost in so many ways. But again, uh, there is not much we can do uh, when government decides to take your rights away, when they decide to shut businesses down, they can do it and they are doing it. This is why I always say be your own bank by holding hard tangible assets, uh, having ammo available uh, in, in different locations, whatever your bug out location is, if you have one and whatnot, uh, to have gold, silver, uh, platinum, uh, water, canned food, all the basic preps have to be there just in case, again, we can have another shutdown that we can't leave the house now. You can have military go around, uh, National Guard with vaccines, and they say, well, you got to stay in because we have the uptick of COVID again. All of this is not out of the ordinary, as we learned in 2020, that anything, in, anything is possible, including uh, crude oil, barrel of crude oil to be uh, $38 in the negative, meaning you were getting paid if you decide to take delivery of crude oil for $38. So this is something that I never thought would, would, would happen, and it happened. I didn't think that millions of people would be okay to say, okay, we're gonna shut the businesses down, and then after two weeks, what government said, now going into 174th day in a row of um, this new abnormal, and people are still okay with it. I did not see this coming either. I thought people would be like, what do you mean? Well, why is Walmart open then? Why is Amazon doing what they're doing, but I can't have, uh, my little store that I have a dozen employees or five employees selling ice cream, I can't be open. You're gonna be picking which job is, is, is essential, which one is not. Just a lot of crazy stuff that happened. A lot of you know this. Um, I'm just uh, here to tell you, I believe this is uh, all by design to destroy the middle class. Very unfortunate, it is happening in your face. It's not me coming up with some conspiracy theories. It is what is happening. Open your eyes, people, and do not stop preparing. Uh, even though it sounds like I'm telling you what to do, I'm telling you what I'm doing. I'm also uh, getting off the grid. I'm gone. I got uh, not much time left here in Florida. Enjoyed the heck out of it. But when they start closing the beach down and 
taking something that's the reason why we decided to come here i'm like what's next they're just gonna uh, put cement blocks where the entrances are so you can only go uh, out in the water if you have your own personal yacht i, I really don't know so I i'm gone you're gonna see videos from lots of land and i can't wait so again this is what i'm doing you guys obviously do whatever you want uh, good luck to everyone when it comes to the stock market i posted a warning on wednesday you can see it on my parlor account at the new american conservative and on twitter at the new america 77 where i uh, put out a warning that all my core positions were out I'm only gonna do quick small trades in and out and boom we had almost a thousand points drop in the Dow yesterday and right now as I'm recording this uh, the Dow is getting a hit again Nasdaq definitely was getting um, hit but again this doesn't mean like right now we're gonna go in a complete red I might make my entrance again right now it's the way it is we got labor weekend coming up we got an extra day i believe monday uh, no trading uh, stock market will be closed so i like to have everything kind of set and ready to go for tuesday to see if i'm going to get my way back in i'm really really looking into uh energy market right now energy sector i meant to say uh, northern gas and oil right now is approaching 52 week low of 50 cents it's trading as 57 cents uh, a share right now uh, i really like this one i like these uh, 52 week lows when we had big sell-off in in april yes it can be a, a way bigger drop this time but i like to get in in those and if i see a 20 30 percent um, gain i might just exit out especially if it's not a very healthy uh, blue chip uh, company slash stock uh, another one Exxon is now approaching 52 week low too yes there is about eight nine bucks to go but from the high of uh, close to 80 now trading under 40 about 38 dollars a share and this um, company is one of the most um, you know blue chip stocks you can get yes things can change but i like it it pays dividends uh, under nine percent you gotta look at stuff like this energy is gonna go up i believe based on inflation what we're seeing you think these freaks the central bankers are going to um you know lower the cast the, the cost of uh, energy i doubt it what you saw during shutdowns that's basically it when 90 percent of the people did not travel at all that's when energy was really really cheap you know you can fill up your gas tank for 10 bucks now things are getting different so energy sector and of course mining sector i made an entrance today in equinox it's my new miner pick at 11 dollars and 49 cents okay equinox eqx i will write the index down below so this is my play it was a uh, just under 10 percent drop in this one and i could not wait to jump in and yes i will get more if next week a bigger sell-off happens in the miners so miners and energy sector is my call good luck to all of you god bless you and continue preparing remember if you don't hold it you don't own it you gotta make sure you got those hard tangible assets and some crypto on a personal ledger in your possession okay stock market for me is all speculative even though i will have some core positions set up in energy stock and um, i will take a very calculated gamble in this one love exxon take care